Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be. As you out there, I observed a lot of these top players and I noticed one thing. Many of the top pros, they are all world champions, but they hold their wrist differently. So I was wondering to myself if this makes a difference and if so, how it feels. So in this video, it's all about me being the guinea pig, trying out different wrist postures for you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to hook you up to a raffle where you can win a new QTech Truewood Gen 2Q worth almost a thousand dollars. So stay tuned. But first, let's analyze the pro players. I focused on Albin Ocean, Joshua Filler and Shane Van Boning. Because amongst those three players, I think there's a distinct difference in the way they hold their cue and how they use their wrist. So let's start with Albin Ocean. If you watch the wrist and the elbow of Albin Ocean, you see that they are completely in a straight line and his stroke is super smooth. If you watch it a little bit closer, you see that it's absolutely straight. So elbow and wrist, they form a complete unit. And he also flicks the wrist a little bit when he shoots and that's just amazing. I tried to recreate this here and you see I tried to have my elbow and my wrist lining up completely straight. A very interesting player for me is Joshua Filler. Not only because he is one of the best shot makers or even the best shot maker in the pool scene, but he uses his wrist differently than many other players. I was wondering to myself why Josh is such a good shot maker. Maybe one reason is the way how he holds his wrist. It's a little bit bent inward and he grips the cue completely different than Albin Ocean. I tried to recreate it here so you can see it a little bit better. Meaning that the elbow is also completely straight as with Albin Ocean but the wrist is turned inward a little bit. And the last player I want to compare is Shane Van Boning. Let's have a look how Captain America is using his wrist. I noticed with Shane there are two differences to Joshua and to Albin Ocean. One thing is that his elbow is turned a little bit to the inside, but his wrist is turned a little bit to the outside. I tried to recreate this for you here as well. Maybe it's not that perfect, but I think you get the gist of it. One thing which is very interesting with SMB that he has sort of a starting position and a final position when he strokes. Meaning at the end of the stroke, the wrist and the elbow are completely straight again, as you can see here perfectly displayed in this picture. And as our partner Inside Performance Coaching put it so rightfully, the bottom line is you can't be afraid to fail. So in this video I'm trying out new and different things for me, maybe also for you. So let's see how I'm doing. So I tried to emulate all three wrist postures, starting out with Albin's, it's not perfect, but I tried my best. I uh, also tried to use a little bit of wrist Flexibility to pull off this power draw shot across the table worked like a charm. Tried the same with the wrist posture, like Joshua Filler had some problems to properly um, get a feeling for the cue, so did not work perfect. And SVB wrist posture is something I could not really recreate. Uh, still managed the draw shot, but was not perfect. I'm not going to discuss the dropping elbow and not dropping elbow topic in this video. I learned this is very emotional and there's only a love or hate relationship when it comes to this. But if you're still interested in my thoughts on this, just click somewhere up here. I'm gonna link you up to a video I made about a year ago. 
And as promised, I'm also sharing the information on how you can join the raffle to win the new Truewood Gen 2 Q from QTEC. Just go into the description of this video and you will find all the information necessary how to win this beautiful piece of art. And you can also watch the review of the Truewood Gen 2 Q by clicking on the YouTube video link I also inserted in the description of this video. So these are my two cents when it comes to wrist posture when playing pool. Please let me know what kind of wrist posture you are using, why you use it, why you like it and why it supports your game. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm super curious to learn from you. Really hope you like this video. See you in the next one.